So welcome back again students to another video lesson. So this will be the second part of our lesson on transforming quadratic functions. So yung first part po kasi is yung pagtransform natin ng quadratic functions from general form to vertex form. So for this particular video lesson, kabaligtara naman po. So we will transform quadratic functions from vertex form to general form. So let's start. So, of course, our lesson objective, we will transform quadratic functions from standard form or vertex form to general form. So, the general form and standard form of quadratic functions, so ulitin lang natin. So, the general form of a quadratic function is written as y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero. And then on the other hand, the standard form or vertex form of a quadratic function is written as y is equal to a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. So here are the steps in transforming quadratic functions from vertex form to general form. First, we will expand the binomial. So since yung given uh, form dito is vertex form, yung nakaparentesis, so kailangan po natin munang expand yon. And then, after natin expand, multiply natin yung na-expand the binomial na magre-result sa perfect square trinomial sa A. Okay, so kung may number other than 1, o kaya negative 1, kailangan po natin yung i-multiply. Okay, so kung positive 1 lang naman yung value ng A, no need. So, yun pa rin ang magiging value. And then, kapag negative 1 naman, mapapalitan lang yung sign ng mga terms na nasa loob ng parenthesis, yung perfect square trinomial. So, kapag hindi negative 1 and, or 1, so, kailangan natin i-multiply kung ano man yung value ng A na yun. And then, after that, we simplify the results. So, ibig sabihin, kapag na-multiply natin yung A, yung A dun sa perfect square trinomial, kailangan pa nating i-add or subtract dun sa constant term, yung value ng K na nasa labas ng parenthesis. So for the activity, we will transform the following quadratic functions from standard form or vertex form to general form. Example number 1. Y is equal to the quantity of X plus 5 squared minus 17. So, ang una nating process, kailangan natin expand yung binomial, yung term na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, square natin yon y is equal to, so, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung step-by-step -step process ng pag-square ng binomial. So, una muna, square natin yung first term. And then, i-multiply natin sa 2 yung product ng first term na x, tsaka yung 5. And then, Square natin yung last term. Minus 17. Okay, next. Y is equal to, so the square of x, that is x squared. And then, plus 2 times x, that is 2x, times 5, so that is 10x. And then, plus the square of 5, that is 25, 5 times 5, and then minus 17. So, simplify natin yung results. So, kailangan natin isubtract tong 25 tsaka 17. So, y is equal to x squared plus 10x plus, so 25 minus 17 is 8. So, our final answer is y is equal to x squared plus 10x plus 8. So, ito na po yung general form wherein the value of a is 1, the value of B is 10, and then the value of C is 8. Again, dito sa ating equation, uh, function, so pwede nating identify agad-agad yung vertex, so yung H and, uh, values of H and K. So yung vertex po natin dito, uh, yung 5, balik na rin natin yung sign, so magiging negative 5, and then negative 17. For the next example, y is equal to the quantity of x minus 8 squared minus 64. So, kagaya ng process kanina, 
y is equal to the square of x plus twice the product of the first term x and the last term negative 8 and then plus the square of the last term negative 8 and then minus 64. So y equals the square of x that is x squared and then 2 times x that is 2x times negative 8 that is negative 16x and then square of negative 8 that is negative 8 times negative 8 will become positive 64 minus 64 and then we simplify the result so y equals x squared minus 16x so 64 minus 64 that is 0 so it means our final answer will be x squared minus 16x so what is the value of a so 1 the value of b is negative 16 what about c so the value of c the constant term is of course 0 next so if we are going to identify the vertex so kaya ko po ina-identify ng vertex is because para maging sanay na po tayo kapag nagrap na tayo ng quadratic functions so the vertex will be 8 and then negative 64. So yung h lang po ang mag-iba yung sign dito. Pero yung k, yun pa rin po. Okay? Next, number 3. y is equal to 3 times the quantity x plus 4 squared plus 11. Okay. So as you can see, meron na tayong value ng a dito other than 1 which is 3. So ibig sabihin, after natin expand yung x plus 4, Kailangan natin multiply yung result sa 3. So, magiging y equals 3 times the, the square of x plus 4. Okay. So, magiging ganito siya. x squared and then twice the product of the first and the second term. So, x times 4, that is 4x. And then twice the product nga, magiging 8x. And then, square the last term, yung 4. So, magiging 4 times 4, 16. And then, plus 11. Okay, so, inakuha natin perfect square trinomial na x squared plus 8x plus 16. Kailangan po natin i-multiply dun sa value ng a which is 3. So, magiging y equals, so, 3 times x squared, 3x squared, 3 times 8x, that is 24x. Finally, 3 times 16, that is 48. And then plus 11. So simplify the result. 3x squared plus 24x. And then the sum of 48 and 11 is 59. So this will be the general form of the given quadratic function. So the value of a is 3. The value of b is 24. And then the value of C is 59. So the vertex, the given function, will be negative 4 and 11. Next example, y is equal to 2 times the quantity x minus 7 squared minus 105. Okay. y equals 2 times the square of x minus 7. Okay, so square the first term x, so that will become x squared, and then twice the product of x and negative 7, yung first term and last term. So x times negative 7, that is negative 7. x times 2, negative 14x. And then we square the last term, negative 7. So negative 7 times negative 7, that is positive 49. Minus 100. 5. Next, yung value ng a which is 2, kailangan natin i-distribute dun sa mga terms na nasa loob ng parentheses. So, magiging 2 times x squared, 2x squared. 2 times negative 14x, negative 28x. 2 times 49, that is 98, minus 105. And then, we simplify the result. y is equal to 2x squared minus 28x and then 98 minus 105 that is negative 
7. So this will be our final answer. So to determine the values of A, B, and C, so the value of A is 2, the value of B is negative 28, and then the value of C is negative 7. So the vertex of the given function, 7 and negative 105. So for the last example, so y is equal to negative 4 times the quantity of x plus 1 half squared plus 14. So you can see, yung value ng h natin dito is fraction. So madali lang naman po kapag fraction. So y equals negative 4 times the square of x plus 1 half. So square the first term, that will become x squared. And then, uh, twice the product of the first and last term. So, x times 1 half, that is 1 half x. 1 half x times 2, that is x. And then, we square the last term, 1 half. So, 1 half times 1 half, that is 1 fourth. And then, plus 14. So, ayan na po. Naging perfect square trinomial na po yung x plus 1 half squared. Next. The value of a is negative 4, so we will distribute negative 4 to the terms inside the parentheses. So, negative 4 times x squared, that is negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times x, that is negative 4x. And then negative 4 times 1 fourth, that is negative 1. So, why is it negative 1 ang sagot? It's because negative 4, tsaka yung 4, na cancel out. Kasi yung GCF is 4. Okay, and then, plus 14. Next, to simplify, negative 4x squared minus 4x, and then negative 1 plus 14, that is positive 13, it's because we subtract and then we follow the sign of the bigger value. So the final answer will be y is equal to negative 4x squared minus 4x plus 13. And then the vertex... Negative 1 half and 14. By the way, the values of A, B, and C. So, A is negative 4. B is negative 4. And then C is 13. So, after nating i-transform yung quadratic functions from general form to vertex form and vice versa, this will be the time to graph quadratic functions. Okay, so lahat ng... Uh, lessons na tiniscuss ko starting from the illustration of quadratic functions and then yung pag-represent ng quadratic functions and then yung pag-transform ng quadratic functions from general form to standard form. So, kailangan po yan sa pag-wrap ng quadratic functions. So, yun lang. Sana may natutunan kayo sa video lesson na ito.